Analyze data in Excel. Hi, this is Extend Office. Today I will introduce the Analyze Data feature to you. Analyze Data is an AI-driven tool. It revolutionizes data analysis by enabling you to interact with your data using simple, natural language queries. It processes your data and delivers insights in the form of visual summaries, identifying key trends and patterns, thus simplifying the complexity of data analysis. To utilize the Analyze Data feature in Excel, make sure you are using the latest version of Office as a Microsoft 365 subscriber. After ensuring this, in the worksheet with the dataset you wish to analyze, select any cell within your data range, and then, on the Home tab, simply click on the Analyze Data button. In the Analyze Data pane, you can use natural language to interact with your data by asking your question in this query box. For example, you can ask straightforward questions like, what are sales by regions, to understand the sales distribution across different regions. If the answer is not what you meant, you can also try the suggested alternatives here. Now, let's say this is what we wanted, click Insert Pivot Chart. You will see a new sheet is created for storing the pivot table and pivot chart. If you need to make any adjustments to the table or chart, refer to the specific section in this video for detailed guidance. If you want to identify and analyze your highest performing data points, you can ask a question such as, what are the top five sales? Press enter to get the answers. You can also drag this pane to see more information. If you are uncertain about what to ask, use a keyword with insights to get a broad overview of that particular aspect in your data. For example, let's enter quantity insights and see what can we get. Choose the answer that you want and click the corresponding insert button. If the answer you insert is a chart, the chart will be inserted directly into your original worksheet without creating a new sheet. If you're approaching your data without a specific query in mind or are interested in exploring your data and want to know what is possible, you can try personalized suggested questions. As you see below the query box, Excel automatically generates questions relevant to your data and more suggestions will appear as you interact with the input box, providing a range of queries tailored to your dataset's characteristics. Select the question that interests you from either list to see the corresponding analysis or answer, just like this. Then, click the Insert button to insert the corresponding chart or table to your workbook. In addition to the suggested questions, you can also explore automatically generated visual insights in the Discover Insights section. Click on Show All Results to display all visual summaries automatically generated for your data. Once you find an insight that interests you, feel free to insert it into your workbook. Excel gives you complete flexibility to modify the pivot tables and charts that you create using the Analyze Data feature. If you have inserted a chart to your worksheet, no matter it is a regular chart or a pivot chart, you can add or remove elements to the chart. First select the chart and click on the plus sign button and then check or uncheck the checkboxes beside the element to add or remove the corresponding element. By right-clicking on the chart and select Change Chart Type, you can change the chart style that suits your data better. For example, you can change it to a line or pie chart. Click OK. In the Chart Design tab, you can use the Chart Styles options to quickly change the chart's appearance. For more detailed guidance on adjusting charts, please visit our tutorial. The link is provided in the description below. In this section, I will show you how to make adjustments on pivot tables. 
If the pivot table is created based on a filtered condition, you can select the filter icon to change or adjust the filter as needed. You can also select the sort icon to arrange the data in the pivot table as desired. By double clicking on the header of the calculation column, the value field settings dialog will open where you can rename the column and choose different types of calculations. For example, you can change the sum to average in your pivot table. By clicking the number format button, you gain control over how the values are displayed. For instance, you can limit the numbers to two decimal places. By navigating to the show values as tab, you can choose to show the average sales as a percentage of total instead of the actual values. In the pivot table fields pane, you have access to a variety of additional customization options. These allow for a more refined and detailed analysis of your data. In the choose fields to add to report box, you can select the checkbox next to a field name to add a field to your pivot table or uncheck a field to remove it from your pivot table. In this pivot table, I have a column displaying the average of sales. In order to show percentage of each average sale of total, I will drag the sales field to the values area and then select it and choose the value field settings. First, select the average calculation and then go to the show values as tab and select the percentage of the grand total option. You can also change the column header here. If your pivot table contains errors or empty cells and you wish to modify how these are displayed, navigate to the Pivot Table Analyze tab and click on Options. In the dialog box that appears, check the boxes next to For Error Values Show and For Empty Cells Show, then enter the desired value you want to be displayed for these cells. For more detailed guidance on adjusting pivot tables, please visit our tutorial. The link is provided in the description below. When using the Analyze Data feature in Excel, the behavior of charts and pivot tables in response to data changes varies. Here I have an inserted regular chart and a pivot table and its corresponding chart I copied from the suggestion sheet. When I change the data, you can see that the regular chart will automatically update. This is because charts in Excel are dynamically linked to their data sources. Pivot tables, on the other hand, do not automatically update when the source data changes. To reflect the latest data in a pivot table, you need to manually refresh it. You can do this by right-clicking within the pivot table and selecting Refresh. Or by navigating to the Pivot Table Analyze tab and using the Refresh button. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter and YouTube.